Today, I'm going to show you how to make the best smoked meatloaf of your life. All right, so just to give you a little bit of backstory about this meatloaf, when I used to be a route driver, I would make these by the hundreds. And I would freeze them and take, vacuum seal them and freeze them and take them on my route and sell them. And man, I had more requests for these smoked meatloafs out of all the things I was doing, at least at the time. I'm sure now it's probably a little bit different. But this is gonna be the best meatloaf the best smoked meatloaf you've ever had in your life, and it's super simple, super easy, so let me walk you through it. Before we get started, just know this entire recipe is down in the description. Go down there, print it out, all the exact measurements, all down there, hey, so you don't gotta feel like you gotta write it down. But the first thing we start with is a pound of bacon. Now, I cut this up into little, like, half-inch strips, and then we fry it up, and then we're gonna pull that out and set it aside. And don't lose any of the bacon grease. We need that because we're gonna saute our onions in there. And I use one medium to large yellow onion, just dice it up however you like it. My knife skills are probably pretty bad, you could tell. But anywho, saute the onions just till they start turning a little translucent in the bacon grease and then dump all that in the bacon and I kind of push everything to the outside of the bowl because you're gonna want this to cool down. Not all the way cold, just cool down. Now you're gonna want to incorporate all your wet ingredients, your ketchup, your barbecue sauce, your mustard, your Worcestershire sauce, uh, and then throw in your dry ingredients and kind of mix all that stuff up, but hold off on the eggs and the breadcrumb. And now you're gonna want to throw in two pounds of 80-20 meat, I like 80-20. If you don't like 80-20, use what you like. I like 80-20. And then I throw in a pound of hot sausage, breakfast sausage now. But, you know, hey, use whatever you like. And if you want to add something to this recipe, feel free to knock yourself out. But I just kind of do a light mix on that. Now I add my breadcrumbs and three eggs and mix it all up. Just get in there, both hands. Don't be scared. Right? Mixing. Keep mixing. Flipping, rotating. I, I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands. They're probably not even seeing me on camera right now. <laughs> All right, now you got it mixed up. Now we got three loaf pans. And Wes is gonna put the size of the loaf pan down below, but you make them as big or as small as you want to. And I line this full pan with saran wrap. That way, because we're gonna put them in the freezer, and then when you take them out, it just all comes out nice and neat, and you don't gotta spray the pan. Everything goes in the trash, and you got a nice little frozen brick of meat. All right, so our meatloaf has been in the freezer for a day. Now I'm gonna pull it out, and I'm just gonna lightly let it thaw, maybe an eighth of an inch on the outside. I still want that inside frozen. I still want my meat hard. You gotta have hard meat right here. Pay attention. This is a pro tip to you for free. Keep your meat hard. All right, so our meatloaf is ready to go. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. All right, so these just came out of the freezer. We let them fall for about an hour just so the outside gets a little soft. But this is, hey, and I know what everybody's saying. Why are you freezing them? Trust me, you're gonna wanna do this. This is how they hold their shape. If you put them in there just like after you put them in here, they're just gonna fall through the grates and come apart. So, real simple, unwrap it, flip it over. This saran wrap it. Dude, I did this the other way the first time. <laughs> they all stuck inside there. So I had to finish cooking the rest of them in the pan. So you're absolutely gonna want the saran wrap. That's a little Cosmo pro tip just for you. A little bit of mustard. Not much, although I did hammer the balls off of that one. Okay. Just a little bit of mustard to hold that rub on there. Season them with some dirty bird or whatever you like. All right, that's it. Time to cook them. So we got it running at 200. Put that right there. 
280 degrees. Now, we just wait. What does Chuck say? He says a lot of dumb mm. man. What, is it, what, what did he say right let here? Let the magic begin. Oh yeah, let the magic begin in his little 70s radio porn voice. <laughs> That's exactly I love what old it Chuck, is, man. Yeah. Oh, Chuck. Chuck loves his. We could do an episode of him just telling jokes. Yeah, it'd be a long episode. Yeah. Dad it, jokes with Chuck. Takes him a while. Yeah. <laughs> He's funny. Thirty-seven. She's coming around, man. These are looking good. You see? As you can tell, these not only look amazing, they are freaking amazing. Oh man. Oh. That will get anybody out of the doghouse right there. You want one of these shoot bay? <laughs> Man, I hope you enjoyed that video. And hey, if you like what we're doing, why don't you click on this video right here and I'll catch you over there. See ya, peace.